All right, using graphics. Using the graphics in the software is really easy. It's as easy as using the text items. So to get graphics in the software, you can do it um, a few ways. The first way to do it is to pick one of the templates that you're gonna get with the software. So for example, let's pick this one for now. I just click it like I did before. And as with everything, everything is movable, okay? Even the shadow and the background. So we find the template we like and we just change the text as we did before. And we come over here to text format and we manipulate it. Awesome. So that's one way to get the graphics into the software. You just use what's built into it. The other way is to come up here to the elements uh, button up here and you click it. And when you look to the left, you're gonna see free elements and some purchased elements. Now we have purchased elements that you can purchase on our website. I'll talk about that later. But for now, let's use what the software comes with. So I'm gonna use the marketing elements and all I have to do is click on this little black triangle thing here. And we have some arrows and if I click on the word arrows, I have arrows and I can scroll down to see all the arrows. And we have whatever these faded overlay squares are. And we have some price stickers. Okay, a whole bunch of graphics you can use right out of the box. Or come up here to free elements and we can click on this word and come down here to background images. And there's a few background images we can use. So I'm gonna take it and all I have to do is click on one of the backgrounds, uh, graphics here, and just drag it onto the camera. And it's gonna be overlaid on top of everything, but don't worry about it because I'll show you. Let's manipulate it a little bit so it's right about there. And then I'm gonna come up here to this options menu and I'm gonna choose move, send to back. And it's gonna take this background and push it all the way to the back in the back you can kind of see it there now I don't need this so I'm gonna uh, click on it and I'm gonna delete it now we have a different kind of a background for you now I also have built in uh, there's a background here I can just delete it okay and to get a little artistic I can click on the background here and I can manipulate just like the text and drag it down and now we have a nice graphic that we can put up on our website on a blog just to have fun send it to your friends upload it to Facebook, <laughs> whatever you want to do. And just like text, everything is movable by these little grab handle things here, okay? So we can use the corner and shrink it, or we can make it really big if we want to. Okay, we can stretch it by clicking on the middle button here, the middle drag handle. Okay, just like text, and then also this handle up here at the top, rotate it. Super easy. Okay, another way to get graphics into the software is to come up here and we're going to click on this photos and videos button up here and we're going to click it. That's going to bring up another window. It's going to allow you to search our stock photos that we have built into the software. Pexels is a website that provides free, royalty free and free stock photos that you can use in your projects. So, for example, if I click inside this little dialog box here, I can just type in something like beach, I guess. And I hit return on my keyboard. And then I get a whole bunch of pictures of the beach. And I can drag an image over just like I did before. And just like I did before, I can manipulate it a little bit to make it a little bit bigger so it fills the canvas. And like I did before, options send it back there we go now I don't think I want this right now I'm, I'm gonna delete it and now our coffee mug is sitting on the beach awesome let's try one more picture let's scroll down to see if we have any cool other other cool pictures here um, well here's a good beach I'm gonna drag it over just like before let's position it so it fits the entire canvas options send it back and it's behind this so I'm gonna delete this one now awesome there we go and now to be artistic I'm going to kind of shrink the cup a little bit and put it kind of in the front here like it's in the foreground and then I'm gonna to have to do the same with the text shrink it down just a little bit there we go perfect another way to get graphics onto the canvas 
let's say you want to use your own images. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to click on this little X thing right here that's going to make this panel go away. Okay, easy enough. Now let's say I have, which I do have, <laughs> a whole bunch of logos that I have in a folder on my computer. Here's a bunch of logos I have on my hard drive. So all I have to do is take one of the graphics that I want and just drag it right onto the canvas. How easy is that? And I can drag uh, as many images as I want over onto the canvas. And just like with text, if you click on a graphic, as I said before, the menu to the left changes and we can uh, choose the image format. You can choose to flip the graphic horizontally if you want to or vertically if you want to, for whatever reason you want. <laughs> you can set the opacity, the transparency of him, and fade him like a ghost, okay? Easy enough, return to image menu. We also have things like image shadow. You can set the shadow back, make it blurry. And as I did with the text, bring the opacity down a little bit. So that's how to use graphics in the software. And in the next few videos, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate them even further to make some really unique images. I'll see you on the next video.